five, six, seven, eight. Look at my butt, look at my butt. Look at my butt, look at my butt, look at my butt, look at my butt. I just touched my butt, look at 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 my butt. Hello, welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Tonight, we're making pizza. Finally! Aren't you happy? We're not at my place. We're at Mike's place. A lot of guys live here. Okay, so we're gonna make a pizza with habanero, pepperoni, and garlic. The spicy mic. The spicy mic. mic. <laughs> and we're gonna make steak with peppers and onions. And then we're gonna make a barbecue pizza. And I'm gonna make mac and cheese pizza with Arthur, the art park. Yes. Oh yeah, we're making cast iron pizzas. Here's what we're gonna make them in. Let's make a drink. We're drinking. The hot shot. Hot shot, hot shot. Mother's drink meadery. Got habaneros and mead. Right, the habaneros. habaneros. Okay. Yeah. We gotta make the dough. And the dough takes a while to rise. Also make sauce. And then after that we'll make the pizzas. And it'll be great. Mike's gonna make the dough and he's gonna teach you with his mind. This is the dough. We're starting with 12 packets of yeast, that's to make four pizzas with. So you get that in here. This is like active dry yeast, so we're not gonna have to wait forever. But we'll have to wait a little bit. Next, we're gonna use two cups of liquid, which is usually half a cup of wine, or in this case, mead. Um, about a cup and a half of warm water, lukewarm water. About half of a cup of this hot shot habanero mead. We're gonna fill up to the two cup mark. And What's again, happening? You only need one cup of liquid if you're doing two pizzas, but we're doing four pizzas, so we need two cups. What are you drinking, Mike? A little bit of honey, a little bit of pepper, because we like pepper, a little bit of garlic, because we like garlic, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of olive oil. Now, gonna mix this together, get it all incorporated, let it sit for a little while. We don't really have to let it sit for too long, just a couple minutes, and then we're gonna start adding flour. We're gonna do seven cups of flour for four pizzas. This is a uh, eye round. This could be our steak, the steak pizza. Okay, so I've ground up some uh, some coffee and peppercorns together. This is what I'm gonna rub the steak down with, with some kosher salt. And you want it pretty coarse. If you're gonna do something like this, you're gonna do like peppercorns, you want coarse, coarse pepper. Very coarse pepper. <laughs> I'm too pale for that. <laughs> Lighting. You're casting shadows, Cam. Get out of the light. Get out of here. Get the f out. So you want to coat it pretty thoroughly. So yeah, there's our thing. All right, this yeast and liquid mixture has been sitting for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. It's uh, pretty warm, so it's been a really nice consistency right now. All the yeast is dissolved. We're going to add about seven cups of uh, flour, give or take. Start with three. One thing that's pretty important is you don't want to over knead the pizza dough or else it will get tough. So, you know, get it mixed, but be gentle. I'm gonna do another three. What's going on? Making pizza dough. Oh, shit. Okay. Crack on your forehead. Do you have any garlic oil? <laughs> no, we don't have any garlic oil. Oh. I gotta wipe my forehead off. Mm. So you put some oil. Stop. All right, I'm gonna sear this steak. I got some oil in this skillet. Here we go. Like, careful, it's gonna be hot. We're just gonna sear each yeah. like side. It's kind of round, so we're just gonna rotate it around. We're just gonna sear each side, get a nice crust on it, and we're not gonna let it go that long because it's gonna cook on top of pizza, and then uh, it'll be good. So we're gonna let that go for a couple minutes on each rotation with a nice crust to make sure you get like the end part too. We just added another cup of flour. So that brings us up to seven. The dough is right where it needs to be. Voila. Um, we're gonna add a little bit more oil to it just to cover the top. Cover her up. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so now we got our dough covered in oil. Actually, a little bit more oil on this side. Just for that nice, greasy, pan pizza dough. It's not for your health. I mean, it is for your health. Last thing you do with the dough before you make it into pizza is you put a damp towel over it and you let it sit for like an hour and a half or so until it rises all the way. You'll know when it's risen all the way because it'll be way up past the bowl. Habaneros. Ah! Yeah. yeah. 
So I'm about to blanch some tomatoes for the sauce. You just put them in some boiling water, like that, and you let them boil a while. The heat causes them to expand and they split their skin. A There's lot. like 25 tomatoes in total. We're making and a whole bunch of sauce. You do too many, it just kind of kills the boil, and I've already done too many. But your sauce, you're gonna need some oregano. I'm peeling it. Look it up this way. Today I'm the garlic intern. You're fired. You missed it. Now I'm peeling the garlic in my hand. So after a certain point, you'll notice that the skin sort of starts to split and come off. And that means put it in the ice water. This took just a few minutes. Ouch! F Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Boiling water is hot, so you should be careful. Yeah, you just do that, and as you go, you just peel the skin off as they go. Then you're ready to turn them into sauce. And the skin just comes right off, it's real easy. Alright, as another part of the sauce, this is the, the Mike's secret. Cut the lid off of the bell pepper, throw the guts out. Shit! I got the oregano! We take the bell peppers, see, and we fill them with garlic, see, and also serrano peppers, which I've also cut up into bits. They don't need to be really small because we're just roasting them in the oven. And then you put them down. There's a little bit of salt and pepper in here. And a little bit of olive oil too. Look how fancy they are with the, the genuine pepper grinder. <laughs> and then we're just filling this up with oil. All this oil is making its way into the sauce anyways, so it's all good. I'm just gonna put a tiny, oh, yeah, tiny little bit on the pan. Yeah, none of this is healthy. None of this is gonna be good for you. Do not make that assumption. You're gonna die early, but happy. Exactly. And then we put the, the pepper caps back on them. Put this in the oven at about 375 or so until they're done. They're gonna be done when you see a pretty good char on the bottom. We might flip them on their side too to get a little extra char. But that's all we're going for. Probably like 20 minutes, 30 minutes tops. This is highfalutin. Let me just put them in here. Let them roast. I'm picking basil! All right. Ah! Now we're gonna make the spicy Mike sauce. Ah! We've got all of our tomatoes blanched and naked sitting in this pot that's been kind of just chilling out at low heat for a while while we wait for everything else to be done. Ah! We're gonna turn it up to medium, medium low. Ah! Not enjoy that. <laughs> now the peppers are gonna be done. All right. For the world. Once oh, they look like so this. They're done. We're gonna move them into the pot, just as is. So we're just mashing this up a little bit to make it easier to blend later, make it cook a little faster. We're gonna add a fair amount of salt to it, like a small palmful, and then we may adjust this later too. And now we're gonna add a bunch of pepper. We're gonna add a bunch of crushed red pepper. That's too much. <laughs> it's not too much. That's it's too much. Like All right, now we're gonna add all of our basil and oregano. The actual recipe is too much everything. of everything. Yeah. Just two cans. Now we're gonna let everything kind of cook down for a while, get hot, and mix together, and then we're gonna take a, an immersion blender to it and cook it all down. My butt, my butt. All right, I'm putting a little bit of sugar in here. You want to put, you know, you're just gonna do it to taste. And you put some salt in, that in there, and then stir it up some more. This has been going for about mm, 15 to 20 minutes now at like medium heat for a while. It was covered for a little bit till it got hot, and then we took the cover off. Everything's mixed together pretty well, and now we're going to use this immersion blender and turn this into a puree. Really, really fun. If you don't have this, you can just use a blender or um, you can also just mash it up real good. And now we 
making a bechamel sauce, which is your standard white sauce. It's one of the six mother sauces. And this is just melted butter and uh, flour. You just do equal parts, two tablespoons of each. Nice good amount. You just you can add in the flour slowly so you get a consistent thickness. This is for the steak and uh, the Philly steak pizza. Yeah, you basically just, your roux, however thick your roux is, it's gonna be about how thick your sauce is gonna be. So for two tablespoons of flour and butter, you wanna do about you wanna do about a, a cup and a half to two cups of milk, depending on how much sauce, how thick or how thin you want it to be. Just add this slowly, make sure it gets mixed in all consistent. And we're not gonna add any cheese to this or anything. So we're gonna be putting the cheese on top on the pizza. So we're just making the basic bash your mouth. And uh, we're gonna bring that to a boil and then we're gonna reduce it to a simmer and let it reduce. And then we'll season it with uh, white pepper and salt. Provolone. Oh, I'm chopping up habaneros. I already did most of the work and my fingertips are a little spicy and I'm gonna just keep chopping them. Smash! Smash! Uh, we just took about, you know, these are two cast iron pans, so we took about half the pizza dough. We started out with a ball, we'll show you a little bit later. And uh, we just gently eased it down until it's covering the pan. And then we're about to stick that in the oven at a fairly low temperature, about 250, to proof it for about uh, 15 minutes or so. That's just to give the dough a little bit of a head start before you actually start to cook the toppings and stuff on top. Um, here's one completed dough. Since we're using raw onions for a topping, we're gonna shock them. So we just take some cold water and we stick the red onions in there and we let them hang out in the cold water in a little while. And this will just kind of take the oniony edge off, but they'll still taste really good once it's done. These pizzas have been proofed at a low temp for about 20 minutes or so. They were at about 250. We turned the oven up to about 450, 425, somewhere in there. And now we're about to top the pizzas. Uh, this first one is gonna be our original Spicy oh, Mike's pizza. Um, and this is our Spicy Mike's marinara sauce. If you don't like things quite so spicy, just leave out the red pepper and the serrano pepper. So you wanna put a, a good amount of sauce on there, but not too much. You don't want it to get soggy. Leave a little bit of a crust there. Now for this pizza, we're gonna use this cheese. This is two to one mozzarella to Parmesan. No, no. There ain't no Parmesan in that. Two to one mozzarella to provolone. I didn't have time to correct myself because of these jackasses. <laughs> we're gonna use a lot of cheese. We are gonna put some Parmesan on, around the crust of both of these pizzas um, once they've been cooking for a little while, but not quite yet. When in doubt, use more cheese than you think is necessary for everything. Right. A whole bunch of pepperoni. Like we'll cover the entirety of the cheese with pepperoni. And then we're gonna add some, uh, some other good stuff on top of that. Keep grating the cheese. You're not done yet. I hate you. We've now covered the spicy mics in pepperoni, and now we are going to top it off with some <laughs> garlic and habanero. And we're just gonna cover it on, on the top. This is four habanero peppers and your butt. four cloves of garlic. It, uh, it will destroy your butt, but you're ready for it. Cool. Later on, we're gonna put some Parmesan cheese on the crust itself. I apologize for everything first. I've ever done, Courtney. <laughs> I'm uh, shaving the beef for the Philly, slicing it as thin as I can with this quote unquote knife. All right, so this is our uh, Philly. This is the cheese. We got provolone and Comte. Comte's like kind of related to Swiss. Got a slightly different texture and it melts really nicely. I'm gonna do that. Check our bechamel, because it's, it's just pretty good. Spread that around. It's gonna be pretty thick, it'll be okay. Now, another layer of cheese. We got green pepper. Put this shit down. All right, got my red onion. Put this red onion on here. Spread it out. That looks good. Now we're gonna layer out. All right, the spicy mic is out of the oven. It's got a few minutes left on it. Um, we're just gonna put some Parmesan cheese, pretty thick coating of it around the crust, and uh, probably a little sprinkling of it on top as well. Put it back in for less than five minutes at about 425, 450, and then this baby will be ready to eat. Put more cheese on top. We're gonna put them both in the oven. That one is just getting started. This, this one will be done started. in about five five minutes. Oh, dumbass. 
cast irons that have been in the oven are hot. Hot things are hot. <laughs> Much like boiling water. You gotta make mac and cheese pizza. We're gonna make it with Arthur. The hard bark. Hey, hey, R D D A R K. Hey, hey, R D D A R K. We gotta get some water going. A pot. That seems sufficient. Put it on high. Okay, it's gonna be a while. The water is <laughs> boiling. Got Time it. to add the Arthurs. Are you ready? Arthur! Okay, that was easy. Cook for eight to 10 minutes. All right, this pizza is all done. It's been cooling for about five to 10 minutes. We're gonna get it loose from the sides. Beautiful. Now we're gonna cut it with the pizza bat lift. Kabla! This, this is a Klingon weapon used mostly for cutting pizzas. And that is the spicy mic. You should probably let that cool off. I know, man. Ow. It's really hot. Both picante and caliente. But it's really good. Crazy pasta. Where's the butter? This is butter. Where's the knife? You need an amount. That seems fine. And it goes. Where's the milk? You need some cream. You could use milk. You don't have cream. Some. Seems fine. Do you even box macaroni and cheese? Use your cheese packet. This seems wholesome. Where did my spoon go? Oh, I found it. Stir it up. That's going on a pizza. This is the Philly is done. We're cutting it. Death to the opposition. Right. We're gonna put some cheese in the mac and cheese. What? I'm chopping the bacon. This bacon's going in the mac. Look at that. Philly cheese steak. Oh! Whatever. Take our dough. We've already made two. So we've got enough for two left. This one's a little smaller, so I took a little bit less than half. Mac and cheese pizza. Oh. Yep, we're gonna make a mac and cheese pizza and a barbecue pizza. Start with it. Is that Small, your sauce and cheese? Little ball. <laughs> this pan is already oiled up and all greasy, and the dough is nice and greasy too. We make delicious greasy pizza, and you just kind of slowly spread it out like I just did, and then you just make a nice crust. Make sure it's got nice, even coverage. We haven't done drink breaks for a while. I'm cooking bacon! Woo-wee! Throwing in the mac and cheese! Woo! Where's the liquor? You cook the bacon with the spoon, you poke it, and then you drink the liquor! There you go! It tastes weird with lime. You pursed your lips like home. a baby. Best show we've ever made. Thanks to this guy. And also thanks to this guy right here. And also yeah. thanks to this guy right here. This guy. He's a good guy. Nobody else helped. I'm cutting the green onion for garnish. Let's put a little bacon oh. grease in there and mac and cheese. Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> This mac and cheese has been done for 30 minutes, but I'm stirring bacon grease into it now. Oh. A beautiful bacon. If I flip this in your face, you pee. Really, man? This cheese is as greasy as a loose cigarette. <laughs> oh, God. No. Okay. We've got the barbecue sauce mixture. We're gonna spread this on the pizza. Lots of barbecue sauce. Leftover rib meat. I made this last week. It's delicious. Pork ribs. Cover the pizza and rib meat. Some smoked cheddar cheese on this. The Amish made this cheese. The Amish make good cheese. Put it in the oven. It's time oh, for the mac and cheese pizza. Here we have some bacon we cooked and grease. Put it all on there. Woo! Next, you need some Arthur mac and cheese. <laughs> Looks like scrambled eggs. In a good way. All right, all right, you spread the mac and cheese. Thousand Arthurs, the aardvarks. Okay, now you need some cheese. This cheese is kind of sweaty, that's fine. Some more cheese you just found here. Okay, all right, those are fancy cut green onions. All right, got the green onions, Parmesan. That seems like a sufficient amount. In she goes. Soon, it'll be done. Barbecue pizza. Homemade habanero pickle. Oh, 
I'm not gonna eat that. That was bullshit. I didn't even mean that to that burn my pass it that direction. I'm just gonna hang out and wait for a second. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. Get out of here, you mind bubble root. So <laughs> Best. Pizza. Macaroni and cheese pizza! Okay. Mmm, cheese. I like it. That's how you make four pizzas over the course of ten weeks. It's actually six hours. Right? And the episode 12, will be ten minutes Twelve thousand years. Long. <laughs> That's good. See ya.